In the last episode, we covered these four properties of database transactions, and I want to just make sure that they're they're fully understandable by giving an uh, example of these properties and also maybe where they might not uh, happen. So let's go ahead and create a new page here, and this is going to be our atomic. section here and like we said quick review atomic means that our actions either all happen or none happen and usually the stereotypical example for transactions are, are bank transactions and you can see why because money is so important we don't want people to mess it up but let's say uh, we do a money transfer as our example okay so our money transfer is going to be from person A to person B and we're going to, uh, this should be in green for sure, right? We want to transfer say a hundred dollars between these two people. Now for, for this to, to happen we need to subtract or deduct a hundred dollars from person A and we need to add hundred dollars to person B. So those are the the two steps that need to take place for this transaction. It's, it's a single unit, we see it as a money transfer, and it's clear why this needs to be atomic. Because it doesn't matter which one of these two we do first and which one we do second, if we do both of them. If I subtract a hundred and then I add a hundred, money hasn't disappeared from the system. If I add a hundred and then subtract a hundred, money hasn't been created in the system. But let's explore what happens if it's not atomic and we do each one of these first. If we do the, this first, we deduct a hundred dollars and then no matter what happens at this point, we see some sort of crash. Okay, if that happens, then we, we have bad things. If we subtract $100 from person A and it crashes, our bank, uh, the, the public has lost money, our bank has gained money. And that's going to lose public trust if we can just generate money for ourselves. On the, the bank, we'll make sure, bank gained money. On the opposite side, if we add $100 to person B's account and then it crashes before we can subtract those $100 from someone else's account, the bank has lost money and we do not want to do that. Our investors are going to lose trust in us. So in either case, uh, if we fail to have an atomic transaction, we have wrong behavior exhibit itself. And so we must, we must, we must make sure that both the add and the deduct occur or neither. So that's, that's our key. Both, or maybe we should say all, or um, neither if it's two, or none if it's multiple of the steps occur. That's, that's our only options. We can't do anything else. And so um, we have for this, this is our commit. And this is our abort. And I run out of page here. Um, commit. There we go. And that's an example of the atomic property and why it is so important.